In exercise one of this demonstration, you use two TCP IP utilities, IP config and ping, to verify your computer's configuration. You are currently logged on locally with a user account that has administrative privileges. Click Start. The Start menu appears. The name of the user account you use to log on is displayed at the top of the Start menu. Click Run. This activates the Run dialog box. In the Run dialog box, type CMD. Click OK to open a command prompt. A command prompt opens. At the command prompt, type ipconfig forward slash all pipe more and then press enter. The Windows XP Professional IP Configuration Tool displays the TCP IP configuration of the physical and logical adapters configured on your computer. IP config displays the host name, Pro1, and the physical address. It shows that DHCP and auto configuration are both enabled. It also shows the auto configuration address, the subnet mask, and that no default gateway is configured. To verify that the IP address is working and configured for your adapter, type ping 127.0.0.1 and then press enter. Four replies from 127.0.0.1 indicates a successful ping, so you know that your IP address is working and is correctly configured for your adapter. Minimize the command prompt to use later in the demonstration. At the bottom of the screen, the small black command prompt icon followed by C Windows System 32 represents the minimize command prompt. This completes exercise 1. In exercise 2, you configure TCP IP to use a static IP address. To configure TCP IP, click Start. On the Start menu, click Control Panel. In Control Panel, click Network and Internet Connections. In the Network and Internet Connections window, click Network Connections. In the Network Connections window, double-click Local Area Connection. The Local Area Connection Status dialog box appears. Click Properties. The Local Area Connection Properties dialog box displays the network adapter in use and the network components used in this connection. There are four components installed. Client for Microsoft Networks. File and Printer Sharing for Microsoft Networks. QoS Packet Scheduler, and Internet Protocol, TCP IP. Click Internet Protocol, TCP IP. Make sure that the checkbox to the left of the Internet Protocol, TCP IP entry is still selected. Click Properties. To configure TCP IP to use a static IP address in the Internet Protocol, TCP IP Properties dialog box, click Use the following IP address. In the IP address text box, type 192.168.1.201 and in the subnet mask text box type 255.255.255.0. Be careful when manually entering IP configuration settings, especially numeric addresses. The most frequent cause of TCP IP connection problems is incorrectly entered IP address information. Now that you have specified the IP address and subnet mask, click OK. You are returned to the Local Area Connection Properties dialog box. Click OK to close the Local Area Connections Properties dialog box. You are returned to the Local Area Connection Status dialog box. Click Close to close the Local Area Connection Status dialog box. You are returned to the Network Connections window. Minimize the Network Connections window to use it later in the demonstration. You are now ready to test the static TCP IP address and subnet mask that you just configured. Restore the command prompt. At the command prompt, type ipconfig forward slash all pipe more. Press enter. The IP configuration tool displays the physical and logical adapters configured on your computer. The IP address is 192.168.1.201 and the subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. These are the address and subnet mask that you configured. To verify that the IP address is working and correctly configured for your adapter, 
you use the ping command with the loopback address 127.0.0.1. Type ping 127.0.0.1. Press enter. Four replies from the loopback address indicates a successful ping, so you know that your IP address is working and is correctly configured for your adapter. Minimize the command prompt to use later in the demonstration. This completes exercise two. In exercise three, you configure TCP IP to automatically obtain an IP address. You then test the configuration to verify that the DHCP service has provided the appropriate IP addressing information. First, restore the network connections window. Right click local area connection. On the local area connection menu, click properties. In the local area connection properties dialog box, click internet protocol, TCP IP. Make sure that the checkbox to the left of internet protocol, TCP IP, is still selected. Click properties. To have this computer get an IP address from a DHCP server automatically, in the Internet Protocol Properties dialog box, click Obtain an IP Address Automatically. Click OK to close the Internet Protocol Properties dialog box. You are returned to the Local Area Connection Properties dialog box. Click OK to close the Local Area Connection Properties dialog box. You are returned to the Network Connections window. You have just configured your computer to obtain an IP address from a DHCP server on the network. Minimize the network connections window to use later in this demonstration. To test your IP configuration, restore the command prompt. You are now going to test the TCP IP configuration. At the command prompt, type ipconfig forward slash release. This command releases the current IP address. Press enter. The IP address has been released. At the command prompt, type ipconfig forward slash renew. This command renews or obtains a new IP address. Press enter. Type ipconfig forward slash all pipe more. Press enter. The IP address assigned by the DHCP server is different than the static IP address that you assigned. To verify that the IP address is working and correctly configured for your adapter, you use the ping command with a loopback address. Type ping 127.0.0.1. Press enter. Four replies from the loopback address indicates a successful ping, so you know that your IP address is working and is correctly configured for your adapter. Minimize the command prompt. This completes exercise three.